we're now going to learn how to create an equipment record. <clears throat> equipment records fall under technical assets. You should not create an equipment unless it's been procured in. So you need to talk to anybody, somebody in procurement to know if the equipment has been received yet. If you have the purchase order number, you could check it yourself or you could talk to somebody in procurement or receiving. Once it, the, te the equipment has been received, you could create the equipment record. And then you need to create, link it to the ma maintenance data. Here's the flow of plant maintenance, and this is where technical assets fall in. From here, we will look at where equipment falls in. Equipment should be linked to a function and location, but equipment could also be uh, self-standing, and it could have document info records, task lists, maintenance plans, measurement points, warranty, vendor, work centers, MRP. It could also be linked to bombs and tools, configuration management. Now we're going to go into SAP. T code is IE01. Here it is, IE01. You go in here, here's the equipment. You have to select what kind of equipment it is from where it says equipment category. Could be a machine, could be a customer equipment. In this case, we'll create a customer equipment. And then here is the date where it became valid. Is it valid today? Is it valid tomorrow? Is it valid in the past? You created it, you put it there. To, we're going to put this equipment as valid today. Then you put a description. Here we'll put stat oil turbine. Then we put the manufacturer, it's General Electric. It was made in Norway in 2013. It's under the General tab. These are the three things you need. These are optional fields. They need to put location, which is the plant, 1,000, because you're in, your plant is 1,000. Then you put sort field, which is the locations, okay, for sector 8. Then you go to organization, you put your cost center at WBS. Here I know the cost center, which is 1701, or you can put your BBS. Planner group, which is a person that look after any maintenance on this, who's going to look after any problems that happen with this. Work center, which is the first work center that finds out that this, there's something wrong with this piece of equipment. And this is the plant where they belong. So the engineers are the first ones to find out this piece of equipment has broken down. It automatically feeds the work orders. This also automatically feeds the work orders. This also automatically feeds the work orders. This here is just Part of the data to tell you where it's located it does not feed the work orders you need to click from the work orders to the equipment to see this and here this is just for reports 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 work order work order work order then you press save you have created a piece of equipment now if we go ie02 we could look at this piece of equipment it is, this is the number of the equipment. We go inside, here is your equipment. You could change the information as needed.